Uh, welcome back to the program before the break we'll have a very interesting conversation about the artificial intelligence if you're just joining us with me uh, kevin j wahura and sir el kisa who are the founders of crypto alliance lifestyle now gentlemen now i want us to delve into another discussion and that's about e-commerce and sir kisa i know you are quite enthusiastic about e-commerce now when you speak to an average youth here in the country uh, about e-commerce, we basically tell you about or opening a Facebook page to advertise your products there, mm -hmm. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe forming a subgroup where we'll be sending updates about your product, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Tell us in detail maybe about e-commerce. So when you talk about e-commerce, in an easier way which anyone can understand, e-commerce is just buying and selling things via internet. Buying and selling things via internet that already is e-commerce. But e-commerce has been estimated to be a multi-billion industry. When you check now the planet, it's a multi-billion industry. When you check on the key people on the planet now, the top billionaires, out of 10, seven of them have invested heavily into e-commerce. And now also e-commerce, another field that we need to uh, check in it keenly, because it's a field whereby it does not require a lot of skills. But it requires also guidance. guidance. Because when you check in Kenya, there are companies, international companies, DHL and GFS, these are international companies. But you check, they are doing what we call the logical view of buying and selling of products. Where I, the buyer, can buy something in China. And they do for, for me the tracking from China up to here. These are some of the companies which are building trust when it comes to e commerce. E commerce is rising so much in Kenya. The other few years ago, we only had Jumia. Now we have Masoko by Safaricom. We have Kilimall also coming up. These are some of the companies embracing technology, e-commerce, buying and selling of things. But apart from that one now, we can see a lot of Kenya, they are running it on small scales, where people now are depending so much on Facebook pages and groups. People are depending so much on our subgroups. And people are making good money. There's a lady I came across in Mombasa a few weeks ago. She's a long lady. At the age of 21, she's selling her products on Instagram. At the age of 21, selling things on Instagram, she's already in university. She's taking care of her school fees. She's taking care of her siblings. And she's just young. She's selling shoes using Instagram. So there's much to be learned about e-commerce. There's much to be impressed about e-commerce. And these are some of things also. This is a field also we're empowering our people upon it. Because with e-commerce, all you require, internet. Did you know that with less than internet of 1 GB, that is less than 100 Kenya shillings, if you can impress technology, you can be going home with more than three to 5,000 every single day. 1 GB data. 1 GB data for wow. a day. People don't know that. You don't need to spend time on airtime. You don't need to spend time on SMSs. As long as you have WhatsApp, you can SMS, you can call, you can do video chat. What else do you need? So basically, yes. assuming, mm -hmm. I'm a small time trader. Small time trader. I'm selling maybe socks. Socks. And t-shirts. Yes. I want to promote my products yes. through the internet. I want to enroll in e-commerce. E-commerce. I have a smartphone. Mm -hmm. What else do I need? The next thing you require to need is to understand your customers. The niche. In this online platform, where are your customers from? Where can you get your customers? Then if you know we are going to get your customer, you need also to understand two specific things. How can your product reach the customer? And how will the money from the customer reach you? The moment you are done, business done. The moment you understand that, everything is complete. That is the art of e-commerce. Buying and selling things via internet. You make it sound so simple. Is it yes, that simple? it is, it is, it is. Because <laughs> this one just requires understanding. This one just requires understanding. Also, when you check also in e-commerce, there's a feel that also I like working online. So I feel that now also require people also to increase it, working online. We have a lot of companies. They have services. They have products. These companies are looking for the middlemen. People can connect the product with the customer. Become the middlemen. The same way we have companies, Kenya, uh, processing companies. They make what they make. Then they have the shopkeepers. 
They have people with the hotels. Yeah. They are the middlemen connecting the mother company with the customers. So also, a lot of companies online that are looking for people can connect them with the customers. Is another field that is paying so, 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 yeah. so well. And that field really turning around life. And also, the best thing now is technology. You know, when you come close to technology, when you check it closely, you see the cover that these things are related. Because also without internet, digital revolution cannot take place. Exactly. They are related in a given way. Same way now also we need to impress in the world of work. When you check in America today, 53 million people work online. 53 million people. They work online part-time or full-time. When you come to Kenya today, today in Kenya we have over 40,000 Kenyans who are working online. Going home with not less than five hundred dollars every single month. That is like fifty thousand every single month. And these people they know something about technology. In online today there are thirty nine proven things you can do and generate income. Thirty nine you can do and generate. Before income. you speak about some of the thirty nine things you can do. Yes. Uh, back in the country here, mm -hmm. when we spoke to a young person mm -hmm. we in a university about working online. Mm -hmm. The opportunities that were available then mm -hmm. were about academic writing. Yes. <laughs> that is so interesting. Uh -huh. That was the opportunity that was there then, at least for me when I was <coughs> in campus. That was the opportunity that was. And someone tell me I'm working online, it's like, what yes. are you doing? Academic yeah. writing, get orders, I write for people. But you're telling me that out of 39, 39 things can do online. And if you want to understand this thing, like in Kenya, I think like one and a half years ago, there's a platform known as Ajira. Your CEO, the K. Yeah. It is by the government. The Ajira, the Ajira Digital came up to empower people with technology, to empower people about working online. But the problem is that our people don't read. They say that anything you want to hide from a black man places in a book. We don't. We don't. For, for example, mm -hmm. let me track you. Yes. How many friends do you have on Facebook? Close to 2,000. 2,000. Do you have friends from Europe? and uh, China and the uh, other country, Asian country? Even Kazakhstan. Now, why can't you now starting uh, marketing Mount Email on your Facebook? Market it in one month, two months. Now you'll find some people from China, Germany, they will start asking, how can we come when they know? Then when they come, you take them to the tour company. The tour company can give you 10% discount. Then you get your money. If they pay $6,000, what is 10% of $6,000? $600. $600, that is yours. They take care of the guest. You remain with the cash. They take them around the Mount Meru, you know. That is you attract people to come. That is online tourism. You don't even need to have an office because it is social thing. You have a friend last year, uh, no, last two year, 2015. Yes. Yeah. I brought two gentlemen from Tallinn, Estonia, through Facebook. They want to visit Mount Oldonjerengai in my country, the volcanic mountain. And I brought them, I, I give them to this antelope company, it is an antelope tour company, mm. they give me 15%, 15% of... A huge discount. Oh, my brother, that was almost like $1,700. I didn't take care of them, they take care of everything. For me, I remain with $1,700. If you're watching, <laughs> you don't have a job. <laughs> Some <laughs> business to say, it was an opportunity to make money instantly. Yes, yes. Sakisa. Yes. Now, uh, with technology, people are sometimes have developed some cold feet. Yeah. When you mention technology, why is it? Because it is a new field. It's a new field. And being a new field, people take it with a lot of caution. But this caution comes in. That's one point for me about technology. Yeah. Skills. People want, don't want to find more about yeah. this field. People don't want to get time about the film. And you know something like Facebook, no one teaches you to upload a photo, no one teaches you to comment, no one teaches you to like a post, no one. But now, when you are doing it for generating income, people now want to be taught everything, step by step. But these are things you do in practice. You fail, you fail, you fail until you succeed. But the education system has taught us one thing that is not right, failing is wrong. It condemns failure. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone wants to get everything right from step one, which cannot happen. It can't. It can't. So these are the things for to learn, step by step, step by step. Then, when also coming to working online, you must also look for a field that you have passion, something that you are connected with it. 
if you are a photographer, think of a way, how can I sell my photos online? If you like cooking, think of a way, how can I connect with Jumia? They have this platform for delivering food. How can I connect with them? It's something unique that I have. In everything, you must get a niche that you love, then find the unique, uniqueness in it, then what you do next, perfect it. There's someone who say that when you see a problem somewhere, problem with people, check out and give them a solution. The moment you provide a solution, you know, have enough in your pocket. And for you to have enough in your pocket, you must be willing to empty your pocket to fill your mind. Yeah. You must be willing to fill your mind. You see in Africa, so you must be willing to empty your pocket pockets to fill your, your mind. mind. Yeah. Yes. That's quite deep. When yeah. your mind is filled, yeah. your pocket will never run empty. Wow. It will never run empty. Of course. Of course. Because you see in Africa, we are so much addicted on selfies and chatting. We are so much addicted with people liking our post. We are so much addicted with people commenting on our yeah, post. Yeah, if you walk down the street, mm -hmm. you will not go more than 100 meters before you see people posting for selfies. Yes, yeah. we are addicted on that. But go to Asia. Asia, people are addicted in online gaming. Simple stuff, online gaming. And they are making millions. They are making millions. There's a youngster in Asia known as uh, Vandel, something Vandel. The youngster, every day he goes home not less than with $2 million every single day. Gaming! Hours. Gaming, for them is gaming. They do it for the money. But what happened in Africa? With over th 330 million people who can access internet, so few can access about this type of working online. And because also now people, again, when you have a big opportunity to tell them, come and see. Yeah. Instead of them coming and seeing what you are giving them, the first thing they ask you, what is it there for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Before you go to that. <laughs> yeah? you go to that. Yes, yes. I want to address something okay. about the cost of internet in Africa. Mm -hmm. Because for one to work online, at least, the key component maybe is data, data yeah. and data unfortunately you have to receive by and it's say that it's still quite expensive compared yes. to uh, the other continents. Mm -hmm. So do we do, are we coming to a scenario where we're seeing the cost of data going down with China? Mm -hmm. Yes, for me I can see that the cost of that is going down because now when you compare now there are more companies giving up the service. Mm -hmm. So the moment a service is given out by more companies also the amount being invested in it or the amount spent into getting the service always lowers. Mm -hmm. So for me now I think data can be accessed because with five shillings in Kenya you can access internet. Ten bob you can access internet. Yeah. Yes. Well, let me add something there. Mm -hmm. There's nothing expensive. It is personal. I can't afford it. Me, I can't afford it. You, you can't afford it. You can't, but nothing expensive. Others that can afford it depend with the desire. If you have a strong desire for you to become someone through the internet or through the technology, there's nothing expensive. You know. Me, I started using this uh, uh, internet marketing 2010. I even remember my first mentor, John Bug. That was my first person to, to connect on Facebook. And we started selling pictures. But for me, it, it, didn't, it didn't sound expensive for what I was seeing from the, the project we are having. So I could even sell anything that I have, my watch, my shoes, for me to get that money to buy data. You understand? Because I see after three months, four months, five months, there's, there's a value on it. You take any, any, any risk for you to get the data. It's only 100, 24 hours with this, with this Safari code. Yes. 24, hour, 24 hours, 100 shillings. Shilling. You get one giga. One GB. Yeah. <laughs> one GB. You understand? Yeah. That's, that's enough. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is like that. Doing 24 hours with 100 bob. Yeah. Just like 25 divided by 100 shillings. Mm -hmm. That is like 5 bob per hour. That's very right. cheap. Now, uh, as it comes to a close <laughs> yes, of this, yes, yes, yes. I understand you have an event next week. Yeah, that is yeah. the twenty sixth. Yeah. Yes. Uh, basically, tell us a brief about the event. So, with, with this event, we have a very big event here in Kenya. The event is for Kenyans. This event now, we want to share with you. We have shared with you different segments of technology. Now, we want just to show you 
how you can utilize it. Because when you talk with e-commerce, not everyone can achieve to get the products. When you check up, we'll talk about working online, no one is able to connect with the customers. Some are not able to connect with the customers. When you talk about online, some are also not able to do communication with their customers. So we have a platform that is ready-made. It has everything. The only need you require is just to come and plug in. Then we show you what to do. For me, I've been in e-commerce for the last five years, from the age of 24 years up to now, the age of 28. And this span of time, my life is quite different. For you to understand how different is it, we'll give you our link for Facebook. You'll go there and check for yourself. You can see me from the suit. Thank you. Please follow you. Yes. So on Monday, we have a very, very, very big event here in Kenya. It's one of the events that we are running in Africa. We have been in over 40 countries. 40 countries sharing the idea that we want to share with you on Monday. That's a big sir. And the yeah. idea is being impressed. It's being impressed well in Africa. And when came across my brothers here, I told them, no, don't need to move any further. I want you in Kenya. Why? Because in Africa, we have the fastest internet. In Africa, so if we I have the fastest internet. The event, where do I get the tickets, maybe, or how do I come? So when, if you want to attend the event, there's that Facebook page, the one that you are going to give you there at the top. We, the Crypto Alliance. The Crypto Lifestyle. Alliance Lifestyle. There is where you are going to give it. Just, we are going to give you the location and everything there. Yes, the session will begin at exactly 1 p.m. 1 p.m. This is one of the lifetime moments you don't need to Cathedral? miss at all. All Saints Cathedral. Yes, Saint at All Saints Cathedral. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Kevin Mamura and Sir Eric Chisa, thank you so much for creating time yeah, thank to you. speak to us on this festival. Wonderful. Yes. Now, on that note, we've come to the end of this week's edition of Business Tuesday. Please remember to make sure to plan and attend this event if it will be available in the city. Until we meet again next week on Tuesday for the same program, it's bye-bye for now, and thanks for watching. My name is Eddie Nyadwa.